Well, as you heard Brittany just mentioned there, it's part of a concerning development today as the city of Akron reveals two additional chemicals were involved in that fire. Yeah, ether and ethanol. We didn't know about those two yesterday, and it kind of raises our questions about whether officials had a full understanding of the potential hazards that they were facing. 19 investigates Gabby Hart taking a deeper look. What are the concerns for, I guess, people breathing in with this being, you know, kind of a chemical? Right now, uh, we don't have any concerns for anything like that. I arrived at the SMB Products facility shortly after the fire broke out Thursday afternoon. 19 News was the first station on scene, and we immediately spoke with Public Information Officer Lieutenant Joel Price. He assured us the air quality was not a concern, and when I asked how he was certain, this was his response. You can see the tail end of that big red truck right there. Yeah. That's our hazmat truck. Okay. That has every monitor known to man on there. Gotcha. It checks in the air. It checks anything that's in the air. It has measures everything. Okay. At the time, Price said he wasn't even sure what exactly the plant manufactured. We've since learned that businesses in Akron are required to report hazardous chemicals to the city. This means officials should have had a full list of what was burning inside of that building. But on Friday, we learned about two new chemicals, ether and ethanol, that were never mentioned on Thursday. Akron's municipal code is clear. Businesses must provide detailed safety data sheets outlining potential health effects and emergency procedures. The health department even inspects to make sure they're following the rules. The good news is that the Ohio EPA is on site and their air quality tests are currently showing normal toxicity levels. But concerns remain about lingering vapor fumes, which reportedly traveled as far as Cleveland. For 19 News, I'm Gabby Hart reporting. So did the city have that chemical information readily available when they responded to that fire? We reached out to the city of Akron. They did send us a statement saying in part SMB products provided us the SDS safety data sheet information for the products at the facility. So yes, our crews and leadership had access to the information they needed to respond appropriately. 19 News will continue to follow the story. We're going to keep asking questions here as we work to learn more. We will certainly keep you up to date.